Hello. We are going to talk about tourism. So I would like you to hear some things that I would like to say. It is. It is. First of all, let me uh, thank the organizers of the Greek House uh, in Davos for the invitation. I would like to congratulate all the people that worked for um, uh, the Greek House. Especially, I would like to congratulate and thank Irini Vadaraki, uh, who is <laughs> applause, applause, <laughs> because Irini was the the person that two and a half years ago uh, in uh, in my office uh, proposed me to to start together to to implement this kind of initiative, and it's a really important initiative because. After a lot of years in Davos, Greece uh, has its own uh, house. So I think it's really, really important for, for all of us. Uh, of course, Greek National Tourism Organization supports, strongly supports uh, the event. And uh, we are going to support it in the next year uh, and the next years, too. I think I had a moderator, but now I have to, to speak on my own. So I have to, I have to, make, up, uh, I have to make up some questions in my, in my mind. <laughs> 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 so I will, I will tell you some things and then, then we can do a discussion. Uh, where we stand uh, as far as tourism regards and uh, what, which are our achievements and which are our challenges ahead. When I took office in GNTO in September 2019, uh, we had uh, an all-year time record in tourism. Um, 18 billion of income. 32 million of people visited Greece in 2019. It was the, the year, the record year of um, our tourism industry. In six months from, uh, from September 2019, everything collapsed. Uh, the Greek tourism reached uh, in zero uh, in March, on March 2020, uh, after the first lockdown and the wave of COVID that hit us uh, then. But we tried and we managed something remarkable and something that uh, was unique uh, for a country like Greece. We managed in two and a half years, only two and a half years, uh, not only to recover, uh, to fully recover uh, our income from tourism, but to overcome this income. Uh, in 2022, we had almost 31 million arrivals, but the most important thing is not the arrivals, it's the income that was uh, over uh, 18.5 uh, billion euros, uh, that it's uh, a little more than the income of 2019. This was not happened by accident. It was a governmental schedule, a very organized effort that everyone, everyone took part uh, in this kind of, uh, of effort. And um, I would like to say that it was a great opportunity for Greece to collaborate together. We, we tried to do uh, impeccable things. Uh, everyone talked with each other and co collaborated with each other, the private sector, uh, the government, uh, the, all, the, all, the, um, all the people that are in the industry of tourism, the industries, the, the businesses, the employees, the employers, everyone. That's why we reached in a critical point, 2022, uh, that it's the new milestone, in my opinion, of uh, Greek tourism. We forget 2019, and we are talking about 2022 uh, as a new milestone, years, uh, milestone year for uh, Greek tourism. Um, we also, these two and a half years, uh, we managed another thing that is really important. We managed to improve the brand of our country. Greece was one of the 20 more important brands in tourism all over the world. But the next, the, the, the previous two and a half years, we managed to put Greece in the first five brands of tourism worldwide. Uh, this is really important, and we have to keep it this way. Uh, and sometimes we have to improve it. So whatever we do from, from now on for the next decade uh, must be uh, an initiative in two pillars. The first one is sustainability, and the second one is um, to digitize uh, the Greek tourism product. Uh, 
what is sustainability for tourism, in my opinion, it's not only the protection of the environment uh, and uh, the natural sources. It's something more than this. It's social cohesion, how tourism can bring more works, more jobs, can create uh, more, um, more income for people all over Greece, not only the four regions that in nowadays has the biggest income of tourism. This is our vision, our government vision for 2030, and I think that uh, we can achieve it uh, till then. As far as Greece as a brand, as a country, as you know, GNTO uh, has a lot of um, work to do abroad with uh, 20 uh, offices abroad. We are trying to promote a new image uh, for our country, a new brand for our country. We see our country as a whole, as a destination, not only our islands, not only uh, the coastal line. We see all, all over Greece as a, a destination. And of course, uh, we, we believe, we strongly believe, and that's what we are doing, uh, that uh, it's a 365 days destination, a destination for 12 months. It's not so easy to, to show the people that Greece is something more than sea and sun. Uh, we are going to need time, we are going to need effort, we are going to need collaboration, we are going to need uh, strong initiatives in order to, uh, to achieve something like this. Uh, but I'm sure that uh, with the same, um, I don't know, with, with the same strength that we managed to do uh, so many things during the pandemic, and it was not only the pandemic, you know, it was a triple crisis that we had the previous two and a half years, it was a refugee issue in Greece, uh, it was uh, the issue of uh, our bilateral relations with Turkey, and of course it was the pandemic. But despite these kind of problems, we managed uh, to do our best in 2022. Uh, that's all for me. I would like to hear your possible questions and uh, proceed to the next session because I think it's, we are always, we are already 45 minutes back. So, is there any question? I'm the moderator too now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, one uh, quick question. Um, of course, uh, Greece is a great place. Okay, and the more we we want we, we present it to our friends, the more we we learn about it, and it's uh, really amazing. I don't stop uh, learning uh, places and uh, possibilities. Um, what is uh, your intention with the new markets? The, the the markets which did not exist uh, exist before uh, because uh, Gre uh, sun and sea was uh, developed uh, with the uh, for the Europe uh, model and America and uh, anyway but it was not for the new uh, uh, markets mm -hmm. so what are your plans thank you I should have a moderator <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. The, the Greek tourism um, has a, a big market uh, in Europe. Uh, we are not going to leave this market go. We are going to keep this market, especially uh, UK market, German market, which are the two biggest markets uh, of, of tourism. Um, but we are seeking uh, and we are trying to open new markets uh, apart from Europe. The first uh, target of a new market is the US market. Uh, we did a good start in 2022. We had 63 direct flights uh, weekly from uh, the US to uh, Venezuela, Seraport of Athens. Uh, was a record, uh, this kind of flights all over the year. Uh, and um, the other market that we are trying to open, it's not so easy, is Latin America, which is a really important uh, market for us. Not so easy. Uh, we, we are having now uh, an office in Madrid that it's going to work on this market, not in Spanish market, but in Latin America market. Uh, we are really interested in the Arab countries. You know, it's, it, it's a joke between us that the, the record year for Arab market for Greece was 2017 with 50,000 people that visited Greece. It's, you understand how, how low it is and we have to, to improve it the next years. And of course, a market that it's, it's, um, it's really difficult, it's a long haul market, but we are trying to, to open it to is Australia. 
Uh, we are going to uh, make a new office in uh, Melbourne the next uh, months in order to to help um, the GNTO to have some initiatives there. Uh, and of course, another market that it's really important for us is China. China is closed. We don't know when it's going to open. If it's open, we are going to to do a lot of things. And um, I think that the, the the key the key is to to have our eyes open and our mind open to a lot of markets. We don't have to stay in one market. Uh, imagine that some destinations of Greece, some regions of Greece, uh, had a big uh, dependency on the Russian market. This is a problem, you know, real problem. So you don't have to depend on one market. You have to spread uh, the danger in a lot of markets. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I consider myself as a traveler. I have traveled a lot around the world, and it was quite easy in many countries, especially in Latin America, as you mentioned now. So, But I met many people who said backpackers. I was traveling uh, backpacking alone. So uh, I, I met many people who said that we want to visit Greece, but it's too expensive for us, and the infrastructure is not that easy, so we can backpack Balkans, for example. Uh, you said that... Uh, Greece is not only sea and sun, and now I'm actually discovering the mountains of Peloponnese, as I am from Peloponnese. I have been in mountains all over the world, but I haven't been at home. So I beg you, please, do something so we attract people that they really want to see Greece, not as Socrates and Plato uh, destination and um, Champagne in Mykonos, but the mountains and the rivers and the lakes and the beauty of the mainland. Greece is beautiful. It's such a shame that we cannot show people or we cannot attract people that they really want to travel to this country. But you said you have a plan, so I trust you. Thank you for the trust. <laughs> um, I would like to point out that um, one and a half year now, we have an ongoing campaign abroad uh, about the Greek winter. Uh, it's called Greece does have a winter. Uh, because Nobody knows that Greece does have actually a winter. Uh, so this campaign, uh, I think it's in um, seven, 17 countries, uh, Europe uh, and uh, Asia. And um, I think that this initiative will enrich with some other things that I can't say right now. But we would like to enforce Greek winter and we also would like to enforce the Greek weekend, the Greekend, as we say. It's another campaign that it's, uh, it's now uh, in uh, 10 countries of, of Europe because we want countries that they have airport connections and they can, the people can travel a lot. And let me say you something about the backpackers or the people that they want to, uh, to travel with without spending a lot of money. You know, in, in Greece, uh, during the summer and uh, during uh, all over the year, uh, are flying five low-cost uh, airlines, five. Uh, it's really easy to find tickets because the biggest expense of, uh, of a traveler is uh, the ticket and the accommodation. Uh, and as far as, as far as the accommodation regards, you know, a lot of people say that Greece is uh, an expensive country. It's not an expensive country. It's a country for everyone. You, you can pay a lot if you want to go to a resort, five-star resort, but you can pay less if you want to go to not to Mykonos, maybe to Kalimnos, or maybe to Karpathos, or other destination, and, and pay less. Uh, so I think that Greece, uh, and this is an advantage for us, is a country for everyone. And you can find any experience you like, and pay the amount you can, in order to come and stay for a week, for example. May I add something? Second. No, Question. I would just want to add something okay. that Greece became good is uh, here because of uh, backpackers. I mean, everybody was coming with a slice of uh, carpuzi, watermelon, and uh, that's, uh, that's how everybody loves Greece because it's connected with uh, uh, their youth and uh, their first love or uh, you, <laughs> the young, <laughs> earlier love. So this, yeah, <laughs> and uh, there was a Greek market. I mean, there are, uh, this, all these are very famous for Greece. I mean, <laughs> thank you, sir. Any? Any other? Okay. Yes. Estimation for 2023, how will go? Mm. You know, I don't have a crystal sphere. 
to, to, to predict the future, but um, the first signs uh, are real positive. Uh, when we travel to WTM London, the biggest uh, event of tourism in the world, uh, Greece was in the top of selection of people that they wanted to travel the next six months. Um, I think uh, that the reservations are doing really well. We would like to be a little more higher this period of time, but I think that after March, uh, when the energy crisis is going to um, soften, not so severe, I think they're going to make the bookings because um, the trends we see uh, and the trends and the numbers we have uh, show that people want to travel. They have obsession to travel. Uh, the, the thing is, who is going to earn these people to, to come to their country? So this is the effort. They, they travel about three times a year. So it's really important to, uh, to make a campaign and a branding like this to attract this kind of people. One comment. Do you believe that these people and tourists of the new generation in Greece will be spending more in Greece? And do we see that changing over the years of your leadership as it? Spending is really important because we don't count hands anymore. We don't, we don't care about, we care, but we don't care much about um, how many visitors are going to come to our country. Uh, we care about um, the income they are going to, to give to the people. Uh, and uh, I think that um, the, next, the next years the income is going to raise up. Uh, and I think that the per capita spending is going to be 20% more than what it is now. Um, for example, there are people that they are traveling from America, for example, that they are spending 30% more than the average uh, visitor of Greece. So it depends on the market you have also in Greece and the people that visit here, uh, that visit our country. Uh, but spending is really important for us. It's a target for us. Not sure it's only just for you, but um, I'm a general aviation pilot. And uh, since the Fraport bought most of the airports in Greeks, they've killed the general aviation. I don't know if you're aware of it, but they've actually killed the general aviation. General the aviation, small Piper, small Cessnas, pipers. Um, because basically they've increased the landing charges to a rate where it's uneconomical for those pilots to come. I don't know if you have a view on it, because this is actually a very good tourism sector. The, you know, these people are actually are good tourists, and um, they're unable now to basically fly into Greek airports. You know, it's an issue that concerns uh, the Ministry of Transport. I, I'm not, I, I don't know what's, what's going on uh, about it, but um, th there is an effort from the Greek government to improve this kind of tourism with small planes uh, between the islands, especially in the islands. But I'm not, I, I don't know the, the issue of, of uh, Fraport and uh, airports. I don't know it. Thank you. We're okay? Come to Greece. Visit Greece. Thank you.